Harley-Davidson has been suffering from the lack of sales in the recent years due to the dwindling traditional buyer base. So the company has been taking confident steps in the direction of revitalizing the brand and combining the traditional styling with the much-desired latest tech updates of the motorcycling world. Take a look at the newcomers that Harley has to offer for the 2019 model here. Will they be able to convert young riders to the HD family and convince the old ones to stay? Let's watch and find out! Before we get to the lineup though, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's start the engines! Harley-Davidson FXDR 114 This is a brand new power cruiser in the Harley-Davidson Softail range. The 2019 FXDR 114 comes built on a new platform, featuring a more lightweight design with 240 section rear tire, aluminum swing arm and sub frame, composite tail body works, and shaved off rear fenders. And its heart is a 1868cc Milwaukee 8 114 engine with 90 horses and 119 pound feet of torque. With 32.6 degrees of lean angle on each side, the bike boasts superb cornering capability that is unparalleled by other soft tail bikes. This 2019 Harley weighs only 668 pounds when ready to ride and comes standard with ABS, keyless ignition, security system and USB charging ports. Harley-Davidson Live Wire Since Harley-Davidson is suffering from the loss of sales of their old-school models to the younger generation, they are trying to appeal to the millennials by following the recent trend of electrifying their vehicles. The 2019 Live Wire e-bike will be based on the project Live Wire that was introduced all the way back in 2014 and might have been spotted by you in the second Avengers movie. Technical specifications are still vague, but it is rumored that the two-wheeler will get a 74-horsepower old-cooled three-phase motor producing 52 pound-feet of torque. The design will be a hybrid, a sports motorcycle and a cruiser with very street bikeish nature. Harley-Davidson Freewheeler The Freewheeler is among those few Harley-Davidson motorcycles that have not been around for a century. This model was released in 2014 and has undergone through a mild upgrade for the 2019 model year. Designated as FLRT, it could be distinguished from the Tri-Glide Freewheeler by noticeable mini ape hanger handlebars and bobtail fenders. In order to ensure that unusual forces could be withstood by the bike, its frame was designed from scratch. The new engine is a 1.9-liter Milwaukee 8 114 that replaces the 107 and produces 122 pound-feet of torque. In 2019, the freewheeler received all new electronically enhanced brakes, ABS and traction control, as well as the premium Harley Touring suspension technology. Harley-Davidson models of 2020 and 2021 Besides the updates for the 2019 model year, Harley-Davidson is set to restore the public appeal by introducing three all-new models in the foreseeable future. One of the 2020 newcomers is an America Adventure Touring Motorcycle with 1,250cc displacement and capabilities to cross continents from coast to coast. The other one is the first Harley Street Fighter with unapologetic modern style and performance. And finally, in 2021 we will see the all-new custom motorcycle with a muscular stance, aggressive strip-down styling and 1250cc of pure performance.
Harley-Davidson CVO Road Glide. Updated for 2019, the CVO Road Glide gets new boulder and hotter styling, more tech and of course a new engine. The bike is propelled by a big 1923cc Milwaukee 8117 that nets 125 pound-feet and 94 horses. Other changes include a fang front spoiler and a screaming Eagle Heavy breather intake. The Road Glide now sits on a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear wheel and has distinctive bodywork, wheel design and new paint options. Plus, the bike receives new Boombox GTS infotainment that combines the convenience of use offered by modern tablets and additional features and software developed solely for motorcycling. Glad to have you with us! Our playlist of motorcycles is not that extensive, so we suggest watching a couple of informative videos about automobiles instead, if you like our format, of course. The links will be in the description. Let's continue! Harley-Davidson Softail lineup Besides the mentioned updates for the 2019 lineup, we couldn't but mention the recent massive redesign of the Harley-Davidson Softail lineup. Both new and old HD riders want the best of two worlds of tradition and technology, and the eight new models of 2018 are trying to deliver on these fronts. Fat Bob, Fat Boy, Heritage Classic, Low Rider, Deluxe, Breakout, Softail Slim and Street Bob are the newcomers that are comprising the core of Harley-Davidson's modern fleet. The engines that power these two-wheelers are Milwaukee 8107 and Milwaukee 8 Big Twin with 107 through 110 pound-feet of torque. Among various updates, we should mention new brakes, suspensions, shocks, lighting and ABS improvements that make these motorcycles the best Harley cruisers ever built. Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide Ultra This motorcycle is based on the HD Electric Glide Ultra Classic and is gaining sales by appealing to the fans of the original survey car trike that was released back in 1932. The current model is far from being affordable, with the MSRP from $36,000 that is among the most expensive Harleys on the market. The through-wheeler is powered by a mighty twin-cold Milwaukee 8114 with 121 pound-feet of torque. Among the remarkable updates for the 2019 model here, we should mention standard ABS and traction control, high-performance suspension, Daymaker LED headlamp, and a new Boombox GTS infotainment. Harley-Davidson CVO Street Glide Unlimited. The two motorcycles also belong to the company's CVO range and share multiple characteristics. Both touring bikes are going to be updated in 2019 model here and are to receive a bunch of model-specific changes, including new paint schemes and different components from the Kahuna collection. Both bikes are now equipped with the Milwaukee H117 engine that is however twin cold and the top-of-the-line limited model. Plus, in addition to a more comfortable seat with a back support and rear storage unit, this year the CVO Limited also gets Tomahawk front 19-inch and rear 18-inch wheels, new infotainment and 4-boom Stage 1 speakers. Now that you have seen what Harley-Davidson has to offer for the 2019 model here, what is your verdict? Will they be able to bring sales up and appeal to the younger generation of riders with these newcomers? Share your ideas in the comment section, tell us about your personal experience with HD bikes and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!